in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this uh, tool vise uh, it comes with uh, 10 uh, parts all together uh, plus the screws and the dowels um, what I'm going to be basing it off of is this one here uh, part one saddle so let's get started on it first you want to go to new uh, standard create um, sketch select the uh, XZ uh, go to the uh, rectangle to point center hover over till you see the green snap dot the given dimension for this is 3.375 tab and then select the uh, 6.5 enter and now we want to select the uh, circle just draw a circle there because we're going to dimension it here select the center circle there and select this uh, yellow point here and type in zero select the center again and select this line here and type in 0.719 enter and the dimension that we want for this is 0.562 enter and now select the line hover over till you uh, snap on the circle there and bring it all the way till it's perpendicular and draw another one on the bottom here snap and then um, trim go to construction draw a line directly from the center there just go up there like that and what you want to do is mirror select these three select mirror line and then hover over till you see the uh, construction line there and apply and then go to trim select the trim that off and trim this off because we don't need it and say OK uh, once we do that we want to go to extrude 0.5 for this highlight the face there go to sketch go to arc center point there hover over till you see the green snap again bring it down 0 degree to type in 0.5 bring it up till it gets to 180 degree and click go to line draw a line all the way to that yellow line there both of them and say OK Okay. once we get that you go to extrude um, select that piece and don't select this one here select that one and what we want to do on that is 0.125 enter and we're going to mirror that so select mirror highlight that piece go to mirror plane go to origin and we want XY mirror enter I'm going to change the view here to a shade with edge. Okay. Once we do that, we go back to 3D model, delete, highlight the corner piece here, all four of them. There. And we want 3.75. And select the delete again. If you close it, highlight the corner here, here here and here it won't work on a uh, 0.375 we want this one to be 0.125 anyway so enter there we go and now select the face sketch select the rectangle again highlight over it the center there and what we want for this is 3.5 plus 0.125 tab over to the other one and go to point 3.5 enter okay say finished now okay highlight that to go to extrude highlight that go to asymmetric uh, for the distance on top we want 0.562 and what we want for this is 0.0625 and say it okay highlight here the front face there go to sketch Zoom in a little bit, uh, select line. What we're just going to do is just draw similar to this here and draw a horizontal line from here to there. Enter and go to dimensions. Highlight the line there and there. Type in 75 degree. Same thing with this one here, here. 75 degree. Uh, say exit the sketch. Go to extrude. Select that bring the arrow over to the other side go to um, select face 
which is that piece which is from the back there um, just highlight there say okay once we do that we want to highlight the front face again um, go to project geometry select this piece here and select circle and from that center point there you just want to go up type in 4 inch and the dimension that we want for this is from here to here there to the yellow line to be 2 inch and say OK. Kay. Once we get that, we want to go to Extrude. Select the circle. Just pull it all the way back. Say OK. Now we're going to draw some hole. So select the hole. Click on the front face here. Uh, highlight on the vertical line there. And what we want for this is 0.25. Down here we want uh, 0.781. Uh, don't click enter on it yet. Um, select over here and select the tab, tab that um, over here. So what, this is what we want right here, class 2B, 0.25. So um, we're okay with this one. But the depth that we want for this is 0.812. And for the thread depth, we want this one to be 0.625. We can always go back and change it if we want to along the way here, but uh, that's what we're going to go with. So we said OK. Uh, once we do that, we want to mirror it. So mirror, select mirror plane, and we select uh, XY, and said OK. Now highlight that face there. Click on sketch and go to point just draw three points here and we're going to dimension those so select that first point there and select the second one there and type in 2.25 enter and what we want for that is select that point again and select the center dot there and this one we want point 2.25 divided by 2 so that would center every, both of these up select it again select that line here and what we want for this is a given let me see it again here it's a 0.187 and from this one is a 0.25 from here to here 0.75 I think I made a mistake here. This one should be 0.125. There we go. Okay, that's all center line up. It's constraint. That's what we want. Uh, Say okay. And we go to hole. As you can see, it's already um, ready for us. So what we want for this is just basically select the simple hole for now. And how far we want this one to go is. Point five six two. And the dimension for that hole is point one two five. And there we go. Now what we're gonna do is just gonna mirror these to put it on this side over here. So what I can do is go to mirror, um, select that, add, and the other one. Go to mirror plane what we want to select is this one here YZ and say OK so now we have everything there the only thing that we have to do now is uh, for visual uh, we're going to select this here and the other side and say OK for the 0.125 uh, OK so there you have it so now we could go into change the visual to uh, realistic um, add a little bit
little bit of a shadow and be in the shadow here. Um, you don't see it here, but uh, I'll just bring it down a little bit here. You can go into default. The color I chose for this visual uh, look to it is I'm going to go with dark blue there. And I'm going to highlight these here to get its surface looking. And then I think I'm going to choose hmm, steel polish. There we go. Visually, here it is. So everything is pretty much there. Um, on the next video, I'm going to be doing the uh, piece number two or maybe three. So I'll, I'll see if I could fit it all in as fast as I can. Um, this would be um, the first piece. So um, don't forget to subscribe when you get a chance. Um, yep, that's it. Have a good one. I noticed that my uh, diameter was kind of a bit off um, from here. Uh, so I'm going to go back and fix this one here. So um, I found that it's right here in the extrude. So right click go into sketch and as you could see select the dimension select there select that point I'm off by 0 0.083 uh, so um, to fix this I could just click on it type in 0 enter and it looks more centered now so um, that's because I moved it just a little bit earlier and I didn't realize it till now so um yeah so that's how you would fix it and then you just exit that and it's basically will update everything for you so there you go